tell me about Clive. Clive Palmer. Well, I knew him in Soho, and he was a real character. He played wonderful banjo in, in the Soho coffee bar. And then, of course, I spent time with him in Paris, busking, along with various other people. And he, uh, and he was great. And then he kind of disappeared off the scene. Yeah. I think he went up to Edinburgh. And, and um, the next thing I knew, he, uh, he was in this band called Clive's Incredible String Band. And we went up there and did a gig. It was just this legendary club. Yeah, the, the that incredible club. talks about. I remember that night. How, how did you get into that club? It was club? just a lift, and it only held about ten people. Yeah, you know, and there was about two hundred people up there. <laughs> and um, this story has been told many times. I mean, I went up there with Pete Stanley. I was playing with Pete at the time, and we were the guests. And David Graham was the guest, and the residents were Hamish Inlet, Archie Fisher, and the Incredible String Band. You know, and um, I'd I'd lived with Clive in Barnes. You know. One houses together with a load of people for a while and there was a guy there called Brian Kennedy who used to play the piano and we set up one night and wrote this kind of blues that was based on a Beethoven change A to F and we wrote this blues that sort of went da -da. I guess we call it Kennedy's Blues. Yeah. And at the time um, when um, Alan Tunbridge, who wrote National Seven, yep. um, was the resident of the club we run in Putney, the Mojo, he was resident there with Mac McGann. And uh, he heard me doing this blues. So he changed it. He was fond of writing kind of humorous Cockney pop yeah. songs. You know? So he put it up into C yeah. and turned into a jaunty sort of. Sort of out of date lyrics now, but uh, and he called it Teapot Blues. Yeah. Which I'll play you in a minute. But um, what actually happened was Clive then heard it, yeah, and then he put it back to da -da 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 and added a minor chord. And stole oh, some of the, the lyrics from the original song yeah. and rechristened it um, Empty Pocket Empty Blues. Pocket blues yeah. And the rest is history. Yeah, really so, this is how Teapot Blues goes. Um, my, my teapot's empty, sweetie. And I don't know what to do. Seems like when you ain't with me, I can't even get a good brew. And the blues for you <laughs> Me bed is empty, darling Cold as a frigid air I've even looked inside the gas stove So if you're stuck your head in there <laughs> But no Keep thinking I'm hearing your stilettos Running up the apples and pears is empty darling I know what I must do I've got to find a new bird now she won't be anything like you she'll make good tea and toasties keep me bourgeois comfy too 